Good day everyone! In this video, we will discuss about evaluating circular functions. In the previous video, I have shown this summary diagram to you of the coordinates of the special angles in the unit circle. We have discussed about the coordinates of the 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees. Specifically, we have determined that the coordinates of 30 degrees are square root of 3 over 2, comma 1 half. The coordinates of 45 degrees are square root of 2 over 2, comma square root of 2 over 2. And the coordinates of 60 degrees are 1 half, comma square root of 3 over 2. Notice in this diagram that the other coordinates of other angles are based on these three angles. Specifically, 30 degrees has the same coordinates with 150 degrees, 210 degrees, and 330 degrees. Looking at their numerical coordinates, notice that they are all the same. They just vary in signs depending on what quadrant they were located. 45 degrees, 135 degrees, 225 degrees, and 315 degrees have the same numerical coordinates. The same thing with 60 degrees, 120 degrees, 240 degrees, and 300 degrees. This is because of the concept of reference angle. For example, the reference angle of 150 degrees, 210 degrees, and 330 degrees is 30 degrees. Hence, they will have the same numerical coordinates. Therefore, it is important to determine the reference angle which should be one among 30, 45, and 60 degrees to easily determine the coordinates of the angles. Moreover, since each angle may fall in any quadrant aside from the quadrantal angles, as its coordinates changes in signs, it also affects the signs of the circular functions. For example, if the angle is in the first quadrant where both x and y are positive, it follows that all the functions cosine, sine, tangent, secant, cosecant, and cotangent will also become positive. Furthermore, if the angle is in the second quadrant where x coordinates are negative and y coordinates are positive, then it follows that cosine being equal to x will be negative, sine that is equal to y will become positive, tangent that is equal to y over x will become negative, secant which is equal to 1 over x will also become negative, cosecant which is equal to 1 over y will become positive, and cotangent which is equal to x over y will become negative. As a summary, only sine theta and cosecant theta are positive. The rest are negative. If the angle lies in the third quadrant, wherein x coordinates are negative and y coordinates are also negative, then it follows that cosine is negative, sine is also negative, Tangent, which is equal to y over x, so that will be negative divided by negative, will become positive. Also, for the cotangent, it will also become positive. Secant, which is equal to 1 over x, and cosecant, which is equal to 1 over y, will both be negative. Finally, if the angle lies in the fourth quadrant, where x is positive and y is negative, then cosine will become positive, sine will become negative, also the tangent, the secant will become positive, the cosecant and the cotangent will become negative. This time, let us try to solve or evaluate some circular functions. 
for the first one, we have tangent of negative 7 pi over 3. To solve for the value of tangent 7 pi over 3, we can convert first the given angle in degree measure. So, we will have negative 7 pi over 3 times 180 all over pi. So, we will have here negative 7 times 180 divided by 3 since we can actually cancel common factor which is pi. Finally, this is equal to negative 420 degrees. When we graph negative 420 degrees, notice that this is more than one revolution. So therefore, 420 degrees minus 360 degrees is equal to 60 degrees. So when we graph this, it should be in clockwise direction since our angle is in negative sign. So, this is negative 360 degrees and we need another 60 degrees. So, this is your negative 420 degrees. Now, notice that the reference angle is actually equal to 60 degrees. Since the reference angle is 60 degrees, then its coordinates are the same with the 60 degrees, which are 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2. But since it is in the fourth quadrant, then it follows that your y is negative. Since the coordinates of negative 420 degrees are 1 half comma negative square root of 3 over 2, then this is your x and this is your y. Now, remember that tangent theta is equal to y all over x. Therefore, tangent negative 7 pi all over 3 will be equal to negative square root of 3 over 2 all over 1 half. So, this is equal to negative square root of 3 all over 2 times 2 all over 1, canceling the common factors. Finally, tangent negative 7 pi over 3 is equal to negative square root of 3. Let us have another one. Evaluate cosine squared 2 pi over 3 plus sine squared 3 pi over 2 all over tangent squared 5 pi over 4. Converting these angles 2 pi over 3, 3 pi over 2, and 5 pi over 4 in degree measure, then we will have here cosine squared 120 degrees plus sine squared 270 degrees all over tangent squared 225 degrees. Now, this time, let us write down all the coordinates of 120 degrees, 270 degrees, and 225 degrees. The coordinates of 120 degrees are negative 1 half, comma, negative square root of 3 over 2. The coordinates of 270 degrees are 0, comma, negative 1, and the coordinates of 225 degrees are negative square root of 2 over 2 comma negative square root of 2 over 2. So therefore, if we are after the cosine 120 degrees, so remember that cosine is x, then cosine 120 degrees is equal to negative 1 half. But since we have squared here, then this will become negative one half squared plus remember that sine is y so y coordinate of 270 degrees is negative one so we will have negative one squared since we have also squared here then tangent remember the tangent is y over x so y divided by x since they are the same so it means that it is equal to one so, this is all over 1 squared. Simplifying negative 1 half squared is 1 fourth plus 
negative 1 squared is 1 all over 1 squared is 1. So, 1 fourth plus 1 is equal to 5 over 4 all over 1. Simplifying this, we're going to have the final answer 5 over 4. Therefore, the expression, the given expression has a value of 5 over 4. Let us have another example. Find the angle in the unit circle given the following conditions. Sine theta is equal to negative square root of 3 over 2 and the given angle theta should be greater than 180 degrees but less than 270 degrees. If we're going to look at the summary diagram presented earlier, since sine theta is equal to negative square root of 3 over 2, and remember that sine is actually equal to y coordinate, among the angles here, the possible values for the theta are 240 degrees and 300 degrees. Notice that their coordinates are both equal to negative square root of 3 over 2. But since it was given that the theta should be greater than 180 degrees but less than 270 degrees, then it only means that the theta that we are looking for is 240 degrees. Let us try another one. Find the angle in the unit circle given the following conditions. Cotangent theta is equal to negative 1 and the theta should be greater than 270 degrees but less than 360 degrees. Remember that cotangent is actually equal to x all over y. Since cotangent theta is equal to negative 1, it follows that the coordinate should be equal. But since it is negative, it means that x can be negative y can be positive or x can be positive and y can be negative. Among here, there are two possible answers for that. We have the 135 degrees since it has the coordinates negative square root of 2 over 2 comma positive square root of 2 over 2 and we have the 315 degrees since it has the coordinates positive square root of 2 over 2 and negative square root of 2 over 2. Going back to the condition, it was stated that the theta should be greater than 270 degrees but less than 360 degrees. For that case, it follows that angle or the theta that we are looking for is equal to 315 degrees. I hope that you have understood the lesson. For our next video, we will discuss about graphs of trigonometric functions. Thank you so much for listening and see you on our next discussion.